Okay, so on this question, we are being asked for the probability down here, down here. It says, what's the probability of getting a nine or a 10? So, so what we're talking about is a spinner. It doesn't show the dial. Let me just, uh, let me just make one here. So suppose we've got a, we got a little spinner dial thing here, you know, and um, here's the center of it right there. And you're just going to flick the spinner and it's going to spin around and around and around and around. And what's the probability right down here? That P stands for probability. What's the probability that it lands on nine or 10? That's what, that's what that's saying. What's the chances? What's the chances it'll end up landing on nine or 10? If you're playing some kind of game or whatever, you want to, uh, want to land on nine or 10, how are we going to figure that out? Have you ever done much probability? What's a probability if you flip a coin that you're going to get heads? Let me change. Yeah, half, 50%, however you want to say that. Totally, right? And, and, and so think about, you know, we all know that probability of heads is probability, if I go probability of heads, is a half. Why is it a half? Because it's one out of the two things that can happen, right? You get heads or tails. Heads is one of the two things that can happen. So in other words, my point in that example is probability is the number of things that you want to happen over the total number of, of outcomes that are possible. It's always the number you want over the total number that are possible. Just that's why hit, you know chance of getting heads is one out of two. So what's the chance of getting a nine or a 10? Well, that's two things that I want to happen, nine or 10, right? Out of how many different things can happen when I spin that spinner? 12, 12 things, huh? there's 12 numbers up there, right? I'm just going all the way up to 12, right? So in other words, the probability of getting a nine or a 10, that's two out of 12, two out of 12. So just like that. Now, do they want a fraction answer or a decimal answer? Honestly, I don't even know. Um, does anybody know? What does it say there? Does a fraction work? Would a decimal also work? Let me check real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, decimal also. Yeah, it's either way. You can type in 2 over 12, or you can just hit the buttons on your calculator. I think the decimal is 0.1. 666, it just goes, just type in three or four decimals. It's, it's, I'm sure it'll take it as good. And so that's all we have to do. Just like that. Let's, let's try. How about we try one more of those? Um, how about here? Here's another question. Another spinner, right? We're going to spin a spinner here. I'll draw a spinner again. We're going to spin the spinner again. This time we want an even number. What's the, you know, we're going to flick the spinner, it's going to spin around, around, around. What's the chance it's going to land on an even number? Well, again, it's probability is always the number of things we want to happen over the total number of possibilities. So how many even numbers? Even numbers are like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12, right? Those are all even numbers. So what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. 6 out of 12 total numbers. Divide that with your calculator, or you probably already know it's just 0.5. So the probability of getting an even number would be 0.5 because it's six out of the 12 things that can happen. Again, probability is always the number you want over the total number of possibilities. And then let's do one more, number three here. So on this one, on this question, it says probability greater than one. Let me write that up here probability greater than one. So I'm going to spin a spinner again. So let's draw in the spinner. So I'm going to spin that spinner and I'm really hoping that I get a number greater than one. Are we good with the symbol, right? Remember how the symbol is like, you know, like seven is, well, that almost looks like the same thing. Like a four is greater than two and Three is less than eight. Remember how the symbol works? It's got a wide side. The bigger number's on the wide side, right? The smaller number's on the tiny side of the symbol. So this basically is saying greater. 
because this is the wide side over here, huh? The probability is greater than one. The one's on the narrow side, the one's the smaller. So what's the probability that you're gonna get a number greater than one? Well, again, probability is the number you want over the total number. So what? how many numbers do I want? How many numbers are greater than one? Well, all these numbers are greater than one, every number except one itself. So that'd be 11 numbers out of 12. You can type it that way or just divide it on your calculator, get a decimal, it'll take it either way. Probability greater than one. Now, let me change. Has anybody got a different version of the question number three that I could do? i like to try a different one. Mine was greater than seven. Greater than seven. Let's do that. Sounds good. What if they had asked you probability greater than seven? Well, how many numbers are greater than seven? Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, huh? How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. That'd be five out of 12. Divide on your calculator, get the decimal. Does that make sense? Whatever they're saying, they say greater than seven, then you start at eight. Count them off. Five of them out of 12. And you just get the decimal. Just divide on your calculator, five divided by 12, and get the decimal on that. Is that good? Questions I can answer on those? Is that making good sense?